So you made it till here. Congratulations. My story won't be told by myself, but I will say something from time to time. Vincent van Gogh, a renowned painter, is known for his unique style, emotional intensity, and vibrant use of color. This documentation explores his life, artistic journey, notable works, and lasting legacy. It delves into his struggles, mental health, and the profound impact his art has had on the art world, analyzing key paintings like Starry Night, Sunflowers, and The Bedroom to unravel their deeper meaning and symbolism. Despite his tragic end, Van Gogh's contributions continue to inspire artists and his works are celebrated in museums worldwide, leaving a lasting imprint on the art world. Early life and background Vincent William Van Gogh was born on 30th March 1853 in the small village of Sundert in the Netherlands. He was the eldest surviving son of Theodorus Van Gogh, a Protestant minister, and Anna Cornelia Carbentus, an artistically inclined mother. Van Gogh's early years were influenced by the family's strong religious background and their commitment to serving others. Growing up in a middle-class family, Van Gogh had a relatively comfortable childhood. However, his early experiences were marked by a sense of restlessness and a deep desire for artistic expression. From a young age, he showed a keen interest in drawing and sketching, often capturing the beauty of nature and the daily life around him. The influence of Van Gogh's family, particularly his mother and his younger brother, Theo, played a crucial role in his artistic development. His mother nurtured his creative spirit and encouraged him to pursue his passion for art. Theo, who would later become his lifelong confidant and supporter, shared his brother's artistic sensibilities and provided him with unwavering emotional and financial support throughout his career. I also had two younger sisters called Anna and Wilhelmine. A younger brother, Cornelis Vincent and an older sister Elizabeth. As a young man, Van Gogh embarked on various career paths, initially working in his uncle's art dealership in The Hague. This experience exposed him to the art market, allowing him to develop an understanding of different artistic styles and techniques. However, his time as an art dealer was short-lived, as he struggled to find his place within the business and faced difficulties relating to clients. Following his departure from the art dealership, Van Gogh ventured into a career as a missionary. Inspired by his father's vocation, he moved to Belgium to work among the impoverished coal miners in the Berenich region. Van Gogh's strong empathy for the miners and his desire to bring solace in their lives drove him to live in extreme conditions, often sacrificing his own well-being. This period profoundly impacted his world view and heightened his sensitivity to the struggles of the working class, themes that would later emerge in his art. However, Van Gogh's time as a missionary was short-lived due to conflicts with the church authorities and his unconventional lifestyle choices. It was during this period of personal crisis and introspection that he turned his focus entirely towards art embracing it as his true calling. Notable works I began painting at the age of 27 to 28, and dedicated myself completely to it, because I knew it was my calling. I created approximately 2,100 artworks, including paintings, drawings and sketches. Vincent van Gogh's body of work comprises numerous paintings that have become iconic and revered in the art world. In this section we will delve into the significance of some of his most renowned masterpieces, including Starry Night, Sunflowers and The Bedroom. Starry Night, 1889. Starry Night is perhaps Van Gogh's most famous and instantly recognizable work. Painted during his stay at the Saint Paul de Mosul Asylum in saint rémy de provence France. The painting showcases Van Gogh's unique artistic style and emotional intensity. The swirling brush strokes and vibrant colors convey a sense of movement and turbulence, reflecting his inner turmoil. 
The contrast between the calm village and the turbulent night sky evokes a profound sense of isolation and longing. Starry Night has become an enduring symbol of Van Gogh's artistic genius, capturing the power of nature and the human spirit. Sunflowers 1888 The series of Sunflowers paintings holds a special place in Van Gogh's oeuvre. These vibrant still life compositions depict sunflowers in various stages of bloom, symbolizing beauty, vitality and the cycle of life. Through bold brushwork and the use of complementary colors, Van Gogh created a sense of energy and intensity. The series showcases his mastery of color and texture, as well as his ability to infuse his subjects with emotional depth. Sunflowers remain an emblematic representation of Van Gogh's ability to convey the essence of nature and capture its transient beauty. The Bedroom 1888 The Bedroom is a series of three paintings that depict Van Gogh's own bedroom in Arles, France. These intimate works offer a glimpse into Van Gogh's personal space and reflect his desire for stability and tranquility. Through the use of bold, simplified forms and vibrant colors, Van Gogh created a sense of harmony and emotional resonance. The repetition of patterns and objects within the room conveys a sense of comfort and belonging. The Bedroom series showcases Van Gogh's ability to transform everyday objects into deeply meaningful and evocative compositions. These notable works by Van Gogh have had profound impact on the art world. His bold use of color, expressive brushwork and deeply emotive subjects broke away from traditional artistic conventions, paving the way for future generations of artists. These masterpieces continue to inspire and influence artists and they have been exhibited in prestigious museums worldwide, captivating viewers with their raw beauty and emotional depth. Through his notable works, Van Gogh has left an indelible mark on the art world, showcasing the transformative power of art to evoke emotion and connect with the human experience. Mental Health and Legacy Van Gogh experienced various mental health challenges throughout his life, including episodes of depression, anxiety and psychotic episodes. These episodes often manifested in periods of intense creativity and emotional turmoil. He faced recurring bouts of despair, loneliness and self-doubt, which had a profound impact on his overall well-being. Van Gogh's mental health issues had a noticeable influence on his art. During periods of heightened emotional distress, he produced some of his most iconic and emotional charged works. The intensity and expressiveness of his brushwork, the vivid use of color and the choice of subject matter often reflected his internal struggles and emotional state. While the exact nature of his mental health conditions remains a subject of debate, many experts believe that Van Gogh may have experienced bipolar disorder or another form of mental illness. His mood swings, periods of heightened energy and creativity, followed by deep lows and self-destructive tendencies, align with the symptoms of bipolar disorder. Throughout his life, Van Gogh sought help and treatment for his mental health issues. He underwent treatment in psychiatric institutions, including the Saint Paul de Mosel Asylum in Saint Rémy de Provence, France where he produced some of his most renowned works. However, the treatments available at the time were limited, and Van Gogh's condition remained largely unmanaged. Tragically, Van Gogh's mental health struggles ultimately led to his untimely death. On 29th July 1890, at the age of 37, he died from a self-inflicted gunshot. The circumstances surrounding his death have led to ongoing discussions and speculation about his mental state at the time and the complex factors that contributed his tragic end. He wrote two days earlier on the 27th July 1890 a farewell letter to his brother. In that letter he wrote Sorrowful and silent, I gaze at you, who are so dear to me. I feel that we are both so unhappy, I by not being able to do what I should like and you by being so much alone. Perhaps we shall also be silent. 
I am not accusing anyone, it is evidently difficult to do what one wants. But it is doubly difficult to be misunderstood, misinterpreted. It is th man's duty to have courage and not be disheartened. In the letter Van Gogh expressed his struggles with his art, stating, But for my work, I can't achieve the things I'd like to realize. So what's be done? One must take one's painting and one's future seriously, if one wants to be serious about other people's work as well, isn't that so? The letter also conveyed a sense of resignation and longing for relief from his suffering. And now for a long time, my health has been a bit wretched, I don't know how, nor why. My melancholy is so much caused by physical suffering and exhaustion that I often feel, too, that my mood is expressed through it. So that as I am in such a melancholy condition, I think it more important than ever to work as much as I can. It's important to note that during Van Gogh's lifetime, mental health was not well understood and there were limited resources available for treatment. The stigmatization and lack of support for individuals with mental illness further compounded his challenges. In recent years, there has been increased recognition and understanding of Van Gogh's mental health struggles, prompting discussions about the relationship between mental illness and artistic genius, while his mental health undoubtedly had a profound impact on his life and art. It is important to appreciate Van Gogh's work as a testament to his artistic vision and the power of creativity. Rather than romanticizing or simplifying the complexities of mental illness, the enduring legacy of Vincent van Gogh's art continues to inspire and captivate audiences, serving as a reminder of the profound connection between artistic expression and the human experience, even in the face of personal challenges and mental health struggles. Van Gogh's influence on subsequent generations of artists cannot be overstated. His works have been a source of inspiration for artists such as Edward Munch and Egon Schiele, who admired his ability to infuse his paintings with raw emotion. Van Gogh's legacy lives on in the countless artists who continue to find inspiration in his artistic vision and the transcendent power of his work. Fame Vincent van Gogh became famous after his death. During his lifetime, he struggled with mental health issues and faced financial difficulties, selling only one painting. However, after his tragic death in 1890, at the age of 37, his sister-in-law Johanna von Gogh Bonger dedicated herself to promoting his artwork. Johanna compiled a comprehensive collection of Van Gogh's paintings and letters, and she worked tirelessly to promote his work and legacy. She organized exhibitions of his art, published his letters, and actively sought recognition for his talent. Through her efforts, Van Gogh's work began to gain attention and recognition from art critics and collectors. The turning point came in 91, when a major retrospective exhibition of Van Gogh's paintings was organized in Paris. This exhibition showcased a large number of his artworks and attracted the attention of art enthusiasts and critics. It was a critical success and brought Van Gogh's work to broader audience, solidifying his place in the art world. Over time, Van Gogh's unique style, characterized by vibrant colors, bold brush strokes, and emotional intensity, captivated viewers and influenced subsequent generations of artists. His paintings, such as The Starry Night and Sunflowers, became iconic and highly regarded. Today, Vincent van Gogh is considered one of the most influential artists in history, and his artworks are celebrated worldwide. His tragic life story and the raw emotion conveyed in his paintings have further contributed to his enduring fame and popularity. I dream my painting and then I paint my dream. What would life be if we would have both courage to attempt anything? 